Hey guys, it's Maggie, and you can kind of see Zach. Oh, you're coming up. Zach. I'm gonna say hi. <laughs> hey guys. And today we are experiencing very unseasonably warm weather. So we've got the back door open, which is, it's been amazing. It's been lovely. It's actually- 68 degrees. Yeah, it's warmer outside than it is in our house. So that's why we yeah. open up the doors. We're like, <laughs> might as well get the heat from out there. But today, since it is so warm, we're gonna go out in the garden and we're gonna put up some new trellises for my peas, which actually, I looked it up, we can put the pea, pea seeds? Pea seeds. Or would they just be peas? Cause it's literal peas. I don't know. We can put them in the ground today. <laughs> so I think we're gonna do that. And before we go out, I gotta show you my plants. Okay, so I've been growing stuff inside because I've had trouble with peppers in the past. They just germinate after a long, long time and then they're kind of slow, they're behind all my other plants. So I did plant them inside and we redid this downstairs bathroom and hallway and I've already messed it up with my, my shelving unit here for my little planties. But my peppers are starting to pop up as well as some other plants. So let me show you them. I planted a lot of them too. I showed you in another video. But look at that. Do you see that right there? Those are little planties. So I'm still waiting. I think the only peppers that haven't done anything yet are my bell peppers and my jalapenos. Both of them had older seeds. So we might not actually see anything. I'll, I'll have to wait. Um, but yeah, very excited. You can see more right there. Yay. And I've got my grow lights going because um, right here I've got the marigolds. They're popping up. And then in these two, I've got the coleus. So they're very tiny. You can barely see them. That I'm not even going to bother like zooming in on them because you'll not be able to see them very well. But yes, I've got those. And then I got nervous about the onions, so I, I made a whole container of onions, well, onion seeds, and they are just starting to pop up. Let me see if I can find one. Can you see that right there? That's green. Those are onions, yay! And then, these are my um, banana peppers that I started in the fall. They're doing really well. And down here, I've got nasturtium, and they are going towards the grow light. They are loving it. Basil's starting to pop up back there, and then this is Celosia. So, yeah. Planted a few more things. Oh, and I did some cuttings of large coleus plants that I have, and hopefully they don't die. Hopefully they root. Rooting for them. What'd you say? Rooting for them. You said you hope they root. Oh! Stump puns. I'm good at this. <laughs> Alright, so we ready to go outside? We are. Taking the doggos with us, too. Ready, cool. Guys? There you go. Bruno's ready. Hi. Oh, the sun. It's warm out, but the temperature is starting to drop. So I'm beautiful. gonna, it is beautiful. 63 is like perfectly it is actually, warm. Yeah, it is. And once you start working, it's fine. I saw a debate over that actually. What's considered hot? Is it 70 to 80 and above or 80 and higher? I think 70, 80 I is think, hot. I would say 75. I feel pretty warm Especially outside here, when I'm since working. We have a lot of humidity. If you're like in a dry area, maybe not, but 70 yeah. and up is hot. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to put up some pea trellises, but it's where I had tomatoes last year and I had some fabric on the ground. So we got to like get under all these weeds and start pulling fabric up. Then we'll put new dirt down. We'll put new trellis like poles up and put the fencing on and plant the peas. So a few steps to it. Just lift them. Ooh, these are heavy. That's the fabric, so it goes the whole length. Is it tacked in at all? It might be. I can't remember if you did those it is. little <laughs> stakes. Yeah. Oh, it'll rip. This is old, though. It'll rip right. Oh, wow. Look at the soil. It looks really good. Oh, so that works perfect. Just get a strong Zach to pull everything up I for you. I strong. Uh, Look at that. You made that look so easy, and I tried to do it the other day and Sorry. got nowhere. I, I but just, look, look at that. The soil. ground was probably frozen still, Mags. It's warm now. Oh, so maybe that was why. It thawed. So anyway, I have a couple bags of soil. 
and then the new stakes that we'll put in. Yay! Not wandering today. Okay, I am in my little trellis tunnel. I've got two different types of peas. I've got green arrow, which I tried to grow last year and they did grow, I just didn't have a lot of success with it. And then I have Lincoln peas. And I have a lot more of this than I have of the other one. <sighs> did it just drip a lot of water? I just felt that. <gasps> oh, it's down my back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know, I did not know. What? <laughs> I really was not. Expecting that to happen. No, I'm sorry, bud. Thanks. Thanks, I'm bud. Sorry. Anyway, I have like double of the Lincoln peas as I do the green arrow, so it's on my camera. Yeah, that okay. was cold. Oh my gosh. Anyways. <laughs> and and he just he just fell. We're having a time here. Okay. I'm gonna plant these seeds. Let's hope I didn't get any uh, water poured on me again. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. What are you doing? All right. You're in your little tunnel. Yeah, thanks. Land them deep. Do one. Oh, you got the perfect finger size for pee holes. <laughs> sounded weird. That really sounded awkward. Uh -oh. That was awful. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you tried. I tried. <laughs> I mean, you failed, but. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully these are good. And I can cover them. If they do sprout, I'll cover them with like a tarp or something when it gets below freezing. I thought they could handle freezing or in They uh, can handle a little bit, I believe. It, once they're actually sprouting is the risk of the frost or freeze, but what, yeah. if they're like, underground, underground, they're fine. Underground, they're fine. Let's cover all those guys up. So basically, I'll just do this down the whole row and then come back up this way and we'll be done. All right, I planted all of the peas. I did one row of the Lincoln and almost a full row of the green arrow, although I ran out so I just finished with the Lincoln. But I think I might have a good pea harvest this year. I only got like eight whole pea pods last year, so um, I'd really love to be able to freeze them or can them or something. So I've got a good harvest. I'm trying to find Zach now. And I gotta tell you the updates with my nose because I found out something that I like was very confused about and uh, yeah, I'll have to tell you about it. This that. just fell in like the last day or two. Are you serious? Yeah, I mean it was dead. I know it's been dead, but it finally, I guess in the last windstorm, not, I'm trying to see if any others really uh -huh. took a hit. But yeah, there's a lot. When we get to this, there's a lot of rehabilitation to do. Yeah. But yeah, this is a beautiful, I love this, like the look of the tree, but yeah, it's finally succumbed. Nanners, are you going swimming? And the dogs are enjoying eating it and using it as a bridge. Holly crossed it earlier. Look at how beautiful. Let me tell you about my nose. So one thing that I didn't mention in the last video, oh, if you're not aware, <laughs> if you're seeing this video and you didn't see my video, about a possible check, check Zach just said check the link below <laughs> no you can like tag it at the top he doesn't know anyways if you didn't see my previous video about possible sinus surgery it seems like I'm gonna get sinus surgery um, I've had a sinus infection for seven months now and I've pretty much had this problem my whole life 
Um, since a very young age, I was diagnosed with chronic sinusitis and it's been super annoying. But yeah, I've had an infection for seven months. Um, I didn't tell you guys that in that video, the doctor actually did a culture and it came back positive, but I'm pretty sure it's for stuff that you would normally find. Um, although it said high colonization. So I tested positive for Staph aureus and then strep B. So I've got I've got that growing back there. He basically said he saw from the left, one of the left sinuses, he saw pus coming out. So pretty gross and yeah, I can I can feel it running down the back of my throat. That's why I sound nasally a lot. But the thing that I wasn't aware of is like he didn't say this and I feel like I would have remembered if he said this. I was mistaken when I told you guys that I did not have a deviated septum. Apparently I do. Didn't know that. Um, yeah, apparently it deviates to the right, which is why this nostril stays open when I breathe and this one closes, I guess. I don't know. He didn't say that though to me. He said like, oh, you have trouble breathing out of your right. And I said, well, yeah, I guess it's because of this sinus infection. But I guess it's also because I've got a deviated septum, which I don't know if he's going to surgically fix. He didn't say that. I would assume that it's not severe. I mean, it doesn't look deviated to the eye. But I have no idea how this works. So yeah, that's the update with that. I still have to schedule the CAT scan. Um, I gotta do that soon. And then my follow-up is at the end of March. So hopefully the surgery can happen within the next couple of months. It's really annoying though. This has been super frustrating and very uncomfortable and I get these awful sinus headaches every uh, like late afternoon to evening. So I just took Tylenol. Doesn't really do a whole lot, but maybe it will. Anyways, that's the update there. Almost lost my balance. Please don't fall in there. Uh, oh. Don't you dare. Do you have your boots Whoa. on? Whoa. Oh, now you're faking. I know. <laughs> Did you find a good stick? We got a great stick. You find a good stick? And she is shedding like nothing. She no. is Look shedding. It's because it's getting warmer. Look at this clump. I'm not even going to do. He's going to pull a clump off Look of her. Look at that. Good grief. She didn't even satisfying. notice. How? Because... You shedding? Just relentless with her. We're heading inside now because the sun is starting to set. And we my. Got an hour. <laughs> we got a little bit of time, but my sinus headache is not doing super great either. So we're going to take another that. headache medicine and hopefully that works and gets rid of this. It's so annoying. But anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoy this video and we both hope that you are feeling good and we'll see you in the next. Bye guys. Bye.